Oh, sorry, I was jamming out to this weird ass music. Anyway, it is the beautiful, always oh, sexy baby Yoda here, Planet Gravy. And uh, we're here to munch on some cheeky nuggies and play Dinches and Demons. I actually can only play Dinches and Demons, I have no chicken nuggies, but I wish somebody would give me chicken nuggies, so. If you're down and give me chicken nuggies, go ahead and comment in the thing about in the comment section. So we're on chapter three, and I won't lie, I did watch like a, a quick video on it just to get like my head space in the right spot because I, I suck at puzzle games. Good morning, sisters. I am Detective Junior Pixelated. That's your name, Pixelated. Good morning, Detective. I am the deepest voice. The nun. I need to sp speak with Sister Ang Angus Dan Druff. I g I'm guessing Sister Angus is very old. Sister Angus is very old and sick. She's resting at the moment. I have just a couple of questions for her. <laughs> oh, I don't. Oh God, I suck at voices. It only take a few minutes. Fine, but go easy on her. Go ahead and follow me. Uh, ask about her health condition, ask how long she's known him, ask about the draw family. Let's ask about her condition. What's wrong with her? Talking about Sister Angus's health, how is she doing? Not very well. She's in a wheelchair due to hip replacement. Moreover, for some reason they gave me ball replacements and now I sound like this. Uh, she's got dementia. Uh, ask about her hip replacement. A hip replacement? Was it a malformation or a bad accident? An accident. An accident. When she was a child, but nobody knows what exactly happened to her. I have a sneaking suspicion what happened to her. Ask, ask about the family. Has she any family? I'm afraid not. Sister Angus's mother lived here in the Citadel. She got pregnant at a very young age and she raised her twins by herself. Twins? Ask about the twins. I see. What's Ang who, what about Angus's twin? Agatha, uh, she died a few years ago. Thinking about it, that was the moment Angus had a breakdown. How long has she known her? 4,000 years. How long have you known Sister Angus? Angus Beef? De decade. She was already here when I took vows. Ask about her temper. Could you describe Sister Angus's with words? Adorable. She's always been lovely. Dementia aside, of course, when she is freaking out like Charles Xavier in the X-Men movie, Logan, when he basically just almost kills everybody at a moment's notice. Here we are. Ding, ding, ding. Oh, Sister Vidi, love. What's the matter, son? The bells keep playing. We can't just turn them off. Oh, not again. Excuse me, detective. I'll be back in a minute. See, and this is why I watch the video, because I know what to do. See, we go here, we go to settings, and then these bells, we turn them off. <laughs> and then we continue again. Finally, a little silence. That nun must be a computer technician. Please don't, please don't kill me, help! Kill me? Freeze, police, on the ground I will shoot. Sister. Who are you talking to? I heard you were screaming. Oh, I was just playing card with the boys. Oh, sorry about the door. I'll send someone here to fix it. Don't worry. The Institute janitor is really good and he works tirelessly. Sister Angus has one foot in the grave and Dandruff's name would have disappeared with her. Oh, the Dandruff. Could Agatha Dandruff be deleted from the list? Sister Angus took me, talk, told me about a family crypt. So I went to the Citadel Graveyard to check it out myself because I, of course I have to make sure that people are dead or alive. I want to go talk to this granny. Good morning. Ask for a scarf. I want a scarf. May I have a scarf from little, little grandma? Oh, she's a cleaning lady. Sure, sweetie. Would you fix that leaky faucet first? Ask directions for the graveyard. Can you tell me which way the graveyard is? Keep right. You can't miss it. Okay, just leave. See you later. Have a nice day, sweetheart. I love old ladies. They're so nice to talk to. Ah, oh, damn it, my shoes got dirty. Um. Cheer up, don't be sad. It's a weeping willow. <laughs> that 
It even had the stupid little chimes. See the ball, steal the ball. This is the rules of basketball. <laughs> what, is, what is this guy doing? Oh God, is he scratching his ass? Good morning. Uh, as he is scratching and sniffing his ass. Sorry to bother you, you look busy at the moment. Art requires a lot of meditation, son. Ask about the painting. What are you doing with this uh, beautiful quote-unquote painting? I'm awaiting the inspiration. May I take the painting? It's not finished yet, but I could sell it for a fair offer. Uh, ask directions for the graveyard. I don't want the banana statue. Or maybe, maybe I do. Can you tell me which way the graveyard is? Uh, keep right, you can't miss it. Tell him about the puddle of mud. No, now I want the banana statue. May I have the banana statue? No, it's a masterpiece. I can't give it away. It is the best art I have ever done. I dipped a banana in pure gold, and then I put another banana on it. Ask for some tape. Do you have any tape? Yep, but I don't know where it is. If you find it, it's yours. Uh, tell him. There's a puddle of mud down there. A puddle of mud? Oh dear God, that sounds terrible. I'll deal with it later though. Tell me about the broken door. There's a broken door in the nun's dormitory. I'll deal with it later. Have a nice day. Whatever. He's having a nice day sniffing his own ass. Take the ball. Throw the ball. Whoosh! Buckets, dog. Hey, that's my favorite statue. You owe me three bucks. You could suck my nuts. Do 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 Achoo! 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 Uh, I can't believe none of y'all said bless you. Uh, good kitty. Stay away I'll start sneezing all over the place. Good morning. Ask about the Dan Crip. Can you tell me where the Dan family, Dan Druff family Crip is? Of course, it's the blue one on the next screen. Okay, goodbye. Sooner or later. Sooner or later what? You're scaring me, dude. I think he even got the cat's titties in a twist. Here's the crypt of the Dandruff family. It's locked. Well, let's go get the fucking key. Oh, man. Hey, 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 it's locked. Good morning. The crypt key. The Dandruff cri family crypt is locked. Well, of course it is. Ask Sister Angus for the key. She's at the Institute. Okay, later. Goodbye. Sooner or later. Why, does you, why do you say sooner or later? You, you worry me sometimes. And look at that statue's cheeks. What kind of statue needs that much cheeks? Don't you dare leave before paying me. Watch this, dude. I'm gonna walk right out, and you're gonna stay this sniffing your own ass crack. Ugh. I think it's gonna rain soon. Not in the game, but like in real life. I think it's gonna rain soon. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Take the duct tape, fix the faucet. No, wait, no, no, no. Take the duct tape, fix the faucet. I don't wanna muddy it up. What are you talking about? No, onto the faucet. There we go. I fixed the leaky faucet. Do I still have duct tape? No, I don't have duct tape. That sucks. Why do you need that much duct tape? Good morning. <laughs> Give me a scarf. I fixed the leaky faucet. Can I have a scarf now? Sure, take this one. Leave. See you later. Have a nice day, sweetheart. Can I ask for another scarf already? Oh man. I know I have to get another scarf, is, is the point. Have a nice day, sweetheart. Walking around at the speed of sound, got nowhere to go, gotta follow my The scarf is too short to climb me down. I'm gonna keep walking in that mud until I am actually a mud man. Good morning. Ask for another scarf. May I have another scarf? Sure, take this one. Okay, send it to the janitor. The janitor is looking for you. You should run to him. I'll go, as, I'll go as soon as I finish this scarf. Okay, see you later, alligator. Have a nice day, sweetheart. Why does it always zip up after I get something in my inventory? I realize you don't, uh, I mean, most people, of course, don't put their inventory in that pocket. 
But, uh, I mean, at least in a game you should put your inventory in a pocket and not up your butt crack. It's a mummy holding a piece of paper. Not Angus, that's all. That's it? Do I get the paper? Is this gold? I think it's gold. Oh, now I can pay off my debt with the janitor. I better hurry. That is gold. Here, I'll go pay off the janitor. Wash off my feet print. Ugh, my shoes got clean. Don't you dare leave before paying me back. I got your money. It's probably more than just $3, but yeah. I like to buy that painting and pay you back for the broken banana statue. All right, it's three bucks for the painting and one ninety-nine for. No, wait, it's three bucks for the banana and one ninety-nine for the painting. It's a pleasure doing business with you. And then, of course, I put the painting in my pants too, because my butthole could fit everything. I'm surprised I don't put the world itself up my own butt crack. So that, for where I am right now, that is the furthest I've gotten. Ugh. Hey, where do you think you're going with those dirty shoes? I've just cleaned the floor. Well, is there another way to get in? Shit. Oh, wait, do I put the painting down? Um, it'd be a... I do put the painting down. I thought I had to give it to Angus. Angus Beef. Okay, well, let's go walk in this puddle real quick. Whooshy doushy. Ugh. My shoes got clean. Why does he say ush? That's so weird. Ush. Ushy dushy. Okay, back inside. The crib must be Sister Angus's office. I have to go get get it. Good evening, detective. I'm sorry, but you can't wander around here at night. Come back tomorrow morning, please. Okay. Come back tomorrow. No way, because I am a rebel. Stage one of three. They can see me only if I come across them. I must move fast and hide behind. Okay, makes sense. It, this, this is a person in the window seal. I don't know if it's a nun or just a creepy ass person, but it's, it's a something and it's, it's spooking me. It's doing the spooky dookies. I don't know if I'll be able to do it because the person pops out as soon as a nun walks by. Okay, I think this is my chance. Go away, go away, go away. Okay, time to be a sneaky one. Go away, please go away, go away, go away, go away, go away. Oh god, oh god, oh god, I can't make it. So they just bounce off of the pillars. How come the big lady is so much slower than the skinny lady? I feel like that'd be the opposite way. I feel like like the smaller and bigger the person, the more hurry they're always in to get somewhere. And like, maybe that's rude, but it, it's just how I feel. Go away. There we go. You know, I'm honestly interested in what what did they say if they catch me, but I don't want to be caught because I'm already like halfway there. <sighs> oh God. She She's looking at me. She just looked at me. Do they all look at me or is it just her? Okay, gotta be quick. <sighs> run, 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 run. Okay, there we go. This one's the exact same as last time. That's lame. You'd think they get like at least something new. Is it different? Something has to be different, right? This music's really nice though. Oh god, a booga wooga. Why is it so dark in here? Mystical books. Weird things happen in Verides. The misty mysteries of the lake. The ghost of the forest. Did I pick them up? No, of course you didn't, because you don't pick up anything good. You only pick up the stuff that you need, not the stuff that I need. The interpretation of dreams. This reminds me of my recurring nightmare at the public school of witchcraft and wizardry. See extra content. Ooh, this shit's kind of spooky. 
I thought I saw something moving. It must be my imagination. Nah, dog. These guys aren't nuns for the Christ. They're nuns for the demon. Oh, son of a bitch, there is something moving. Oh, God, that is fucking spooky. I scare easily. The bookshelf has literally spit- Oh, 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 dude, oh, dude, oh, dude. It has no title, but there's a familiar symbol on it, and it's the fucking star. There's a fucking person behind me. Verides has many haunted places crawling with ghosts. This ancient mansion is the most famous spot of paranormal activity reports. See picture. Hey, this is where Ragdad used to do his rituals. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. That gives me the shivers. He was right there. He was right fucking there. Oh, God. This must be Sister Angus's office. Where is the crypt key? The fucking painting blink. Oh, dude. Oh, it's watching me. The painting is, cre is creepy. It looks like she's falling with my eyes. She even seems to blink. Cause she fucking is. Uh, the drawer has a combination lock. I need three numbers. Uh, where would I find three numbers, dude? Where would I find three numbers? Could I guess? This painting is creepy, blah, blah, blah. We'll just give it three random ass numbers, man. Aw, oh, dude, that is fucking creepy. Where would I get three numbers at? Oh, 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 here we are. History books. Literature books. Unlocked goal. You have, you took four books from the Institute Library. I didn't mean to. Books on Nermiology. Your lucky numbers are 6, 2, and 8. Okay, so those are the numbers I'm going to use. 6, 2, 8. I'm going to forget them. Drew has a combination lock. I need three numbers. I had three numbers. Oh, wait, wait, wait. 6, 2, 8. Unlocked. Haha. Uh -huh. Angus's Dan Druff's secret diary. She speaks about Agatha. She pushed me off the balcony when no one was around. Lord teaches forgiveness, but she's too evil to deserve it. There's nothing else. She probably keeps the key in her room. Of course she does. Son of a bitch. Oh, spooky dookie. Later on. How strange. Sister, Ag uh, Sister Agnes is, is not in her room. I'm going through her stuff because that is the thing detectives do while you're not home. It's Agnes's wheelchair. How is she moving without it? She's fucking possessed. The TV is not turning off and it doesn't have a plug like every single horror video game since 1994. It's a pair of dentures. It's stuck but something is telling me to take it. Why the fuck would you take it? It's a wardrobe, smelling of camphor. I don't know what camphor is. Oh, sh I found a key under the pillow. The tag says Crip. Oh, one is fucking smiling and it's creepy and that's the la 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 la. In memory of Antona Dandruff, loving mother of Agatha and Angus. Oh, so that's the mother? And I'm guessing this is the daughter, right? Logically. In memory of Ag Ag Agatha Dandruff, late sister, the statue has open lips because she was a hoe. So this is it, right? And, and love and memory, blah, blah, blah. So what are, oh, I give the dentures to her. Okay, makes sense, makes sense. What fucking, okay, there we go. There's a skeleton with a hip replacement. Agnes, of course Agatha killed her sis sister and stole her identity. In the meantime, that annoying, de that annoying detective is leaving the crypt. My secret is not safe anymore. The demon who killed Ancelito is coming for me. I have to kill Pexilitid before that. Whoosh. Gasp. 
Are you already here? Spare me, I beg you. Are you running downstairs? Is that what it looks like? Oh, she's changing colors. Am I supposed to do something? I think I have to kill her, but I wonder what happens. Unlocked goal. A very long stairs. You watch Agnes run down the stairs doing nothing. Oh, so... And then she was dead. Oh no, what the hell happened? Aw, oh, dude, you are so getting blamed for this. It's a picture. There are five people, including Agatha, Dandruff, and Ancelito Ragdad. This could be a full sec. Agatha is dead, and there's the same giant footprint found on Ragdad's murder scene. <laughs> hey, my fingers aren't that big. The story of the, ki the killer fake nun raised in little hell. Raised a little hell. I got suspended for a week due to my subordinates, but I had the case back at least. Detective, didn't I tell you to get rid of that jacket? I hope you enjoyed the holiday weekend. The nun scandal is on everyone's lips and we're all expecting great things from you. Three psychopaths left. Take them here, in a bag if possible. Let's show the world our city doesn't tolerate such crimes. Such heinous, heinous, lord-worshipping crimes. Although, no, although no crime scene could be worse than going on in that jacket. Why do you hate my jacket so much? It has Baby Yoda on it. I had the name of three ghosts that didn't appear in any register in an old faded picture. A big guy with a hidden face and an, honest man, and an anonymous man and a familiar woman. The familiar woman is what I could only guess is the big titty lady. Uh, a hidden face is the big guy, anonymous man is the skinny guy, and we know the other two because we've kind of killed the other two. I needed a drink, and you went to a strip club. Good evening, detective. May I offer you a drink? Uh, yeah, I'll accept. Uh, to what do I owe the pleasure? Every newspaper is talking about you. We have to celebrate your success to end toast to old days. So do I know you? Uh, don't flirt with her. Old times, I'd say we never met before. Don't be picky, I think you liked me better when I had a penis. <gasps> oh, dude, oh, dude, that's Tony. Tony? It is Tony. It's Tonina now. Oh, dude, I gave you such a deep voice, too. Oh, dude, <laughs> oh my god, it's Tony. <laughs> do you, do, oh, no, go away. I don't care. Did you become a woman because of my homophobic joke? Yes. <laughs> they were so not funny, but my boss fell out spontaneously. <laughs> what the fuck? So that's why you had a mustached girlfriend. I wonder what happened to her. She might be the bartender. Oh my god. <laughs> you haven't changed at all. Tits aside, of course. And, I mean, she does have a slit now. <laughs> oh god. Meeting Tonita was surprisingly useful on the scene. We talked about a childhood and many places came up uh, uh, up to mind. Suddenly, the sick picture background took a familiar shape. The shape of the boathouse. Okay. We'll come back to this. We'll come back to this. So, I think my suspicion about us being the demon is correct and we're out to go kill the other five and the detective is really just our exposition. And, uh, Tony became a girl, and Timmy is now a crackhead, so I could only wonder what happens to the other two poor innocent boys. So, uh, if, if you like Dinches and Demons, which I do, I think it's funny, make sure you smack that like button. Uh, remember, comment if you could give me some chicken nuggies, because I'm poor, and I need chicken nuggies, and I, I, I just survive off of chicken nuggies. And, uh, yeah, as always. I'll see you in the next video. I love you.